Hi, my name is Danielle. I am from Hello SEO. I run a local SEO company in Brisbane and today I wanted to talk about location pages. So location pages are becoming more and more important as Google really hones in on proximity. We want to extend our website's proximity by making us more relevant to larger and surrounding areas. So this is where location pages come in and there are some good ways to do them and some not so good ways to do them. So today I will be showing a plugin that I partially use and I hope it might help some of you to create more exciting location pages. So this is what a typical location page would look like. This is the pest control company near me in um, Brisbane. So I've just jumped onto one of their location pages and they've named it pest control Redcliffe, which is great. It is a keyword and a location. And then that is their main heading here. Then where they sort of drop the ball a little bit is they don't really mention a lot more about the area. So they do have a little bit about Redcliffe and they've got a link to the local council area but they don't have any sort of like map or surrounding pages and um, that's where by adding more and more information about a location and using Google's own information it just makes that location page more relevant. So we're going to have a look at a plugin by Rank Fortress. So they, it is run by William Jones and he has different plugins that you can use. And this is it here. So it's RF or Rank Fortress Location Page Plugin. So now you might look at the prices and go, well, it's pretty expensive, $150 a month. But if you join him and his training, you can pay an amount. I think at the moment it's 97 US a month. You get all his education, all his trainings, and the tools come for free while you're a student. So it is well and truly worth it. Um, he also does have at times different promotions like um, Black Friday, which has just gone, where you could buy um, an un it unlimited for a once-off fee as well. I think he's also bringing out a white label version as well, so you can um, sell the plugin to your clients too. So I did buy um, a once-off license, so I can use it on as many websites as I like. My only warning to you is that when you do set these up, you do require a Google Map API. You would never put this plugin on a home page um, because, as you know, when it is seen, it does register and um, you don't want to have a massive um, Google API bill because um, this information has been seen. So I only ever use this on location pages. So let's have a look at what it actually looks like. So this is the plugin on my website. I um, So it uses um, short codes. The short codes are what is how you load it onto each page. So you upload the plugin via a zip file and there is a license area that you would fill in here. So I have an unlimited never expire license. And then in the setting areas here, this is where you upload things like the types of places, this is the type of information that I want to pull in. So I'm trying to make each location page very relevant to each suburb. In Australia, we have areas called suburbs in the metropolitan cities. And the suburbs are traditionally, you know, some of them are as small as, you know, 5 to 10k radius. And they might have between 5,000 and 20,000 people living in that suburb. But on mass, a metropolitan city might have 200 suburbs, and that makes up sort of you know uh, you know two million p 
people, residents in, in a city. And so it's quite different to how the US or even the UK is. You've got very clear boundaries, you've got counties and towns. Australia, not so much. It can be quite um, messy trying to pull all this information in. And that's one thing about our Google My Businesses is our suburbs are so small, so that's why we are really trying to reach out into the surrounding suburbs so that we get that much um, bigger visibility. So the types of places I want to target is it, um, our tourist attractions or parks. So the types of um, places that the API can pull in from is you can um, have different lists of um, schools or convenience stores or um, tourist attractions, universities, so whatever you like. So if you're doing um, a website that it might be for another for a school, you might actually want to pull in surrounding different school information so you keep um, this search a lot more relevant. That doesn't count to me. This is an, for an electrician. So we just basically want generic um, places that link to a suburb. The other thing that we need to add to this is the API key. There is instructions on how to get your API key. I can always do another video on how to set this up. Getting the API configured correctly is actually the hardest part of this. You need to have all the correct APIs enabled and then also set up any restrictions and um, have it set up properly. You would never put this plugin as um, I think I mentioned before on a home page. You would only ever use this in location pages. All right, so this is how it looks like on, a, on an actual page. So I am going to show you how I am going to set this up. Okay, so we have um, created a page called Morningside. Morningside is a suburb in Brisbane. And I have a H1 header, Electrician Morningside, and then all my supporting headings have got Morningside and either Electrician or Electrical Contractors um, or Electrical in the search terms. And then this is down the bottom where we are going to um, put in the short code. So my location pages are almost a clone of the home page. So whatever is on that home page, I basically clone it and then just change all the major headings and then add the relevant location details so that it becomes um, a location page. So my first head, I'm creating a heading here and I want it to be about Morningside. And I am going to be using all of Google's information to feed it what it wants to know about. And that is more and more what we're doing these days. Whatever um, Google you know, displays or talks about, then we're going to feed it right back to Google. So I am just going to just tidy this up a fraction just so it's a little easier to read. And again, you can see it's all just relevant information that I pulled just straight off Google. And no, it's not really counted as duplicate content. If I wanted to, I could quickly um, spin a paragraph or something if I wanted to and add it to it, but I'm not going to. Okay, the next thing I want to do is talk about the surrounding suburbs. So this is where um, the morning side neighbourhoods. And this is what I was um, saying before. With this plugin, I've seen it work so well with USA-based um, neighbourhoods. I mean, it pulls in so much information. Australian neighbourhoods, not so much. Um, I was, you know, a little sort of underwhelmed. So these are the different location pages that we have created. 
So I've already got them, um, I've already set them up here. And what I've done is each one I've actually hyperlinked to, um, to the Google My Business map. I've only had to do it once and once it's done, it's done. So what I do is I will set up um, a page like this and then my VAs will come in and then just continue doing everything. So I set up the main info so I know that they're getting the right the right location in the Google Maps because the last thing I want them to do is put in um, a suburb and them to pull in the suburb from the wrong part of Australia. I don't know, um, it would be the same all over the world. You know, there are different suburbs that um, are replicated or like this word, Seven Hills, it's a suburb in Brisbane, but it's also a big suburb in Sydney. So I would not want them to pull in the details for the wrong suburb. So I'll do it once and then I know that they can continue to do it for the next, um, you know, 12 or 20 pages. Now this is where I'm going to add the short code. So the short code I'm using is just that one that I have already got from Rank Fortress. So here are the short codes here. So I set these up myself. So this is a list of locations. Now on here, it's got a limit of 30. I don't want 30 different locations to come in. One, it pulls a lot of information and two, it takes time to load. Now it also sorts from descending I like to just um, sort mine random. So it's always going to sort of mix it up a little bit. So this is where I've um, already set one up here. And all I'm gonna do is I just keep one page open and then I just copy and paste from one page. So there's my short code and this is things to do in Morningside. Um, and then I've got Morningside. So here in Brisbane, I am making sure it knows that I am in Brisbane and then in Australia. I've got a limit of six and the sorting of the locate or of the um, tourist attractions is random. So R&D. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to add a um, driving instructions. I really want to show Google that um, this is the contractor to go and see. So here's my map of Morningside and now I'm going to create driving instructions. So I'll flip it up so it's going from Morningside to my business name. And I'm really grateful that he has a, um, a pin on his um, business so I can just actually search in his location and it makes it even more relevant. Um, on the left hand side there is a hamburger menu and when you click on it you can actually embed the map. Okay so this is where I'm going to copy it and then I am going to add this here. So now, so what I'm pulling in for this page, so I've got all my headings, all about Morningside, 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 Morningside. I have got the other locations that we serve as well. I've got about Morningside and I've just pulled the information in directly off that Google page. I've got the different um, neighborhoods and these are hyperlinked out to a Google map page of that suburb. I've got the short code, which is um, the different locations. And then I've got a driving instructions um, iframe embed. So let's have a look at what it looks like. Now we are still optimizing this website. So please don't look at it and go, oh my God, that looks like a dog's breakfast. We are still going through this at the moment. 
so you can see here I've got all my headings. Morning side, this is a direct replication of um, our homepage. Always display your Google reviews. I actually work with Google reviews and um, I can talk more about them in another video. But your Google reviews are your biz biggest conversion factor and so you should be proud of them. So display them. Okay, always some FAQs um, and then this is the um, location part of this page. So about morning side, it's exactly what I pulled in from Google. Yes, we'll space it and um, pad it all out properly. These are my neighborhoods which hyperlink to those um, other location pages. And then these are the things to do in morning side. So this is what the plugin has pulled from Google Maps. And then I have also got driving instructions from Morningside to his actual location. So just doing things like this um, will make these location pages a whole lot more relevant. If you live um, in a in a country town in Australia, will these um, all the different information that the pull-in will be a lot clearer than what suburbs are in a metro area. If you're in the US or the UK, then you will get a lot clearer in um, pull-in details as well. I hope this has helped you to look at how you are doing your own location pages. If you are interested in getting the plugin, go and check out William Jones and his Rank Fortress Academy. The plugin, it is really nifty. Um, I've only chosen six. Some of my um, sites I've chosen nine and it looks really nice to have a big stack of um, different locations. I'll actually show you what that looks like. So this is another um, business that I've been working on. And the different locations we're going to go back and um, add some more driving instructions to his his areas so he's got a lot more areas again we're in the middle of just getting this looking really nice we've got a lot more neighborhood pages here and then this is what sort of the nine different areas look like as well so you can definitely have more um, locations, you can have more um, neighbourhoods and then what we're going to be doing is adding those driving instruction maps on these pages as well. I hope that's um, given you some ideas about how to do driving, well, location pages with as much information as possible.